Hello everyone, welcome to my channel CSE Partshala. We were studying about machine learning using Python 3 and in this tutorial we will study about normal or Gaussian distribution. In the previous tutorial we have already studied about random data distribution. For upcoming tutorials we will uh, study uh, what kind of distributions there are. So uh, a normal distribution is one of the most important distributions. It is also called the Gaussian distribution as it has been named after German mathematician called as Carl Friedrich Gauss. It fits the probability distribution of many events like uh, IQ scores, heartbeats and uh, many more. And uh, in order to implement normal distribution in NumPy, we will use random dot normal method. Okay. And uh, with the help of uh, it, we get a normal data distributions. So usually uh, there are three parameters in normal distribution. These are LOC, that is the mean, uh, where the peak of the bill exists. Scale, that is the standard deviation, uh, which shows that how flat the graph distribution should be. And the size, uh, obviously, uh, the shape of the array, which you want to return of this distributed data. Now there are certain basic properties of normal distribution. It is symmetric about the mean. So whatever the mean value is, normal distribution will be symmetric about it. That means the left side of the distribution and the right side, uh, right side of the distribution should be same. In normal distribution, the mean, mode and median, all values are same. The mean divides the data into half, as I already told in the first point. It is defined by mean and standard deviations as we have seen above that uh, it has uh, three terminologies. One is the mean, one is the standard deviation and the third one is uh, the shape. Okay. The fifth point is the curve is unimodal. That means there should be one peak only. The curve approaches but never touches the x-axis as it extends farther, farther away from the mean. Okay. So as much as distribution we will be having. The curve will uh, get increased, but it never touches the x-axis. However, it approaches towards the x-axis and the total area of the curve is equal to 1. Now, uh, there are many cases where the data tends uh, to be around a central value with uh, no bias left or right. And uh, it goes uh, close to a normal distribution. Like if you just want to see what exactly a normal distribution looks like. So here it is. This is a normal distribution and we have uh, talked about a word that is a bell where a bell exists. If you can see this uh, structure or this uh, graph or a diagram, you can see it's it's like a, a diagram or a graph of a bell. It's, it looks like a bell. So these curves are called as a bell curve. Okay. And in the first point, we have already uh, said that the mean where the peak of the bell exists. Okay, so where is the peak? Okay, so here it is. The peak of the bell exists here. So uh, this value is the mean value and it has uh, two parts. That means the left side part and the right side part. Okay, the left and the right part are uh, the same thing. Okay, it has been divided into two parts by the mean. Okay. Now if we talk about the standard deviation, standard deviation is a measure of how spread out the numbers are. Uh, and its sigma uh, symbol is sigma, that is a Greek letter. The formula is uh, very easy to calculate the standard deviation. That means it is the square root of the variance. Now, what does variance mean? See, variance is defined as the average of the squared differences from the mean. To calculate the variance, we need to follow uh, these steps. That means we need to first calculate the mean. Okay. So mean is actually, uh, it's a very simple or the average of all the numbers. Okay. After calculation of the mean, we need to subtract the mean uh, and square the result. That means for each number, we need to subtract the mean from it. And then we have to square it. And then uh, we need to work out the average of those squared differences. Okay. This is how we calculate the variance. Okay. After calculating the variance, we need to calculate the square root of the variance and this will uh, give up the standard deviation. Alright, so here are uh, certain figures which shows that uh, uh, 
uh, how a standard deviation uh, looks like. That means uh, the first case is uh, here the 68% per of the da data distribution is there about one standard deviation. Okay. One standard deviation means actually the, uh, these are two, but the one standard deviation means uh, this is equally distributed one and one. Okay. Here, 95% of the data has been distributed about two standard deviation. Two standard deviation means two, uh, two for here, this thing also and two for this thing also. That means there will be total four standard deviations. Now in this diagram, 99.7% uh, of the data has been distributed. Okay. About three standard deviation. Three standard deviation means three here and three here. That means there will be total six standard deviations. All right. Now, uh, we go through the implementation phase of normal distribution now in NumPy. So uh, let's consider one code first. That is, uh, we need to generate a uh, random normal distribution of size 2 cross 3. Uh, that means uh, two rows and uh, three columns or, or we just say that uh, in every row there must be three elements present. Okay, so let's consider this code and implement it on Jupyter Notebook. Alright, so here it is. Import numpy as np from numpy import random x equal to random dot normal that is uh, size 2 3 okay and uh, then we can print this normal distribution all right so as uh, we have already uh, discussed that normal uh, method is used for the normal distribution and the size is for uh, giving the size of an array okay so let's save this code run this code all right so here it is we got the values of normal distribution. Fine. Now, uh, if we want to generate a normal distribution of size 2, 3 and uh, with a value of mean and standard deviation also. For example, here the mean is given as 1 and the standard deviation is given as 2. So, how can we create uh, such kind of normal distribution? Let's consider a code and implement it here. Alright, so here it is. Import numpy as np from numpy import random x equal to random dot normal. Here we are giving the values. So uh, the parameters for uh, the normal distribution in numpy are loc that is the mean it's equal to 1. Scale that is the standard deviation it is equal to 2 and obviously uh, here is the size. Okay so uh, and then we are printing its value. So let's save this code run this code so here it is. Alright, now if you want to visualize the normal distribution, in the previous two examples we have just printed the values of the normal distribution. But if you want to visualize the normal distribution, let's consider a code okay, and uh, implement it here. We have seen matplotlib and seaborn in the previous tutorial. So kindly go through to my previous tutorial in order to see uh, these modules. So from numpy import random import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. This is for the plotting of the graph. Import seaborn as sns that means um, this is for uh, uh, taking array of the random distribution which we uh, will be looking to plot. Okay. So sns.dist plot this is the distribution plot okay uh, because we are using distribution plot here so obviously we need to import the seaborn so sns.dist plot here we are giving random.normal that means we will create random numbers random distribution 1000 that means any 1000 values we will consider here and uh, we are making histogram as false that means uh, we will uh, not be displaying the histogram here plt dot show we will show or we will uh, we will show the plot okay so let's save this code run this code all right so here it is a warning has been coming uh, that means uh, it's because of the disk plot uh, it's okay uh, and uh, here is your distribution uh, plot for the normal distribution as we have seen that there, there is one peak and uh, this complete distribution can be divided into two parts across the mean. So this is how we plot or visualize normal distribution. So that's all for this tutorial. We will come up with more exciting lectures. Thanks for watching. Kindly do subscribe to my channel.